The most important dailies are done, so I want to work on the next quote-unquote big goal, which is going to be five hours of Wildy Slayer. Now, I think our stats are good enough, and uh, we are using well enough equipment where we can get like a stable amount per hour. Maybe it increases slightly at the end, because I'll have slightly higher stats, but going to be so minimal i think it's going to be very interesting i will use an outside the game timer and we'll pause the timer if necessary so for example if i have to take a shit why was that the example i used if i have to leave <laughs> for whatever reason in that fact i'll pause the timer maybe if we get like emails in between maybe i'll leave real quick uh like pause the timer while we're doing the email because it's outside the wildy slayer part so we can truly track how much loot we get from five hours of wilderness slayer now the great part is this is gonna be the first time i actually make use of this we have a loot tracker in game nowadays and luckily there's a slayer overall option i don't know if it's overall overall or just overall combined slayer but it might just be anything you kill at this point now we can't put limitations on this some filters you can also easily reset it i think it will just restart if you do that one um there we go we're gonna ignore some basic rooms because who gives a shit combination rooms also don't really matter and the bones um food and potions i don't think there's gonna be too many relevant ones so we're gonna ignore those too because i do think it has a limitation on how much it can track we want to be able to track the most important loot. I also do not know if Laren keys are included, but I had six of them and I put them in the trading post for a dumb price so they won't sell, like just to make sure they don't sell. Uh, so I can take those out at the end, but that way we are starting off with zero of those. You know what, as a matter of fact, I'll also go ahead and spend all my bluff money on room coins just for later so we can turn that into uh, room coins. Gonna be nice. That way we have a more or less none at the start so we can just really track how much we get but that's also why we have the loot tracker right gonna be nice 2.2k at the start who gives a shit that's such a small amount it's gonna be in the hundreds of thousands it should be by the end of five hours of wildy slayer so we're gonna do combined tasks just whatever i get i might do some skips here and there if tasks are really bad and i don't see a point in doing it at that time but other than that we're gonna do as many as we can and uh yeah just see what the result of that is going to be our very first task is going to be some mammoths. Now, we should be able to kill these relatively quickly. Let's see uh, how many Lariskis we get from a mammoth task. We got a total of uh, 42 to kill. I am using Expeditious Bracelet. I'll basically use this on anything that is not a boss, like Vedion or... I don't even know if I want to do fucking Callisto, because the Crespies one is just so dirt fucking cheap that I don't feel like it's going to be worth it at all. Fenonatus drops number two, which is about a bill. Fadion drops number three, which is over two bill. Callisto drops number one, which is uh, a few hundred mil at most. So, uh, kind of iffy on that. There are achievements for it, so maybe I'll just do it to clear those. You know, I think every wildy boss basically has one. There's another little crystal key from a mammoth. One of the few good drops they have. I also think they have like cursed casket and stuff, but yeah. Slayer points do matter to us, so we want to rush to as many tasks as we can, unless the task is worth doing like something like Fadion. I totally forgot to turn on the fucking loot tracker. Big brain plays. Good thing I uh, checked relatively early on. It's just the first few kills of the first task for a crystal key, so I don't think that matters too much. Also, I might buy a uh, gold looting bag and just fill it up with junk so it can loot blood money specifically. Just put blood money in there and then 27 random items. So my charges only go out to blood money because if I have to pick up every single blood money drop we get throughout this five hour grind, that shit gonna take a while. All right, one mammoth task done. Got a cursed casket from that and one Laren's key. Um, keep in mind, the Laren's key is, you know, you don't get a ton of them, but they will add up over time and boss tasks definitely have a higher rate, probably based on HP. I can't say that with 100% confidence because I do not know, but I think it is. If it's similar to Brimstone Keys, then probably yes. I'm gonna pause the timer real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and spend every dime I have on a grand looting bag. I don't want to use the gold. I just want to loot everything. Bronze boss and shit, I just want to grab it, so... We're gonna fucking get 50k room coins real quick somehow. That's also why we're using a timer outside of the game, because we can't actually time this one. You can only view the loot or reset it. This is what the first task looks like. Bought a bunch of blood money plus the granite moles I already had. Chunky amount, 11.5k, got the greed on of course. And that brings us slightly closer. Literally grabbing just anything I can find at this point. I don't think I have enough money right now i've been buying blood money and turning that into granite moles which is definitely not the best rate for money to room coin but 
you know, gotta do something. It's quick and reliable. But I'm a little bit short, even if I spend every dom I have right now. Trying to see if we can get lucky on something like a uh, wild and fissage here. A little bit of extra, plus we get some coins from it and stuff, of course. Yeah, not too great though. I'm liquidating everything I can find. Let's pray that uh, whatever happens during this video, we come out on top with some profit because ooh -wee, we will not have a lot left at the end of this one. I'm 500 rune coins all of I'm desperate. It's a loss. I don't give a shit anymore. I just want to get it so we can continue without delaying it forever and ever. I literally plundered my entire bank. I need some stuff to sell ASAP. But outside of that, grand looting bag of tanks. I just, I can't play without it, bro. It's so shit. All right, let's continue the grind. Second task, Ankus. I do have Ankus uh, favorite it, of course. We're gonna see that task a little bit more often than most of them. I'm also waiting to do like my uh, lava green dragons, those kind of dailies until I get a task for it. Same with Ankus, because this is gonna be my daily as well. Oh yes, this place so much better. Not having to run around to loot the stuff. Like I can just continue killing them back and forth. You wouldn't think it, but it's such a massive time save. Like running back and forth, it drained my run energy super fast, which was annoying for obvious reasons. Yeah, I may end up using the thingy for drop rate maybe, but like the elixirs, they're really cheap anyway, and I have a bunch of them bought already. That might be useful. But yeah, this is uh, extremely nice. Already got a Larence keys as well. Oh, today's gonna be an interesting day. Very curious to see how much loot we get. We might not be able to finish five hours in one day, but if not, I'll simply continue tomorrow. All right, did two Anku tasks, and now we get a uh, Venonatus task. Not Vedion, Venonatus. But we will kill it in a very similar way, of course. Not much of a difference. So let's uh, get on with it. Hopefully no one is there. I will use Lux for like the regular boss tasks, Vedion, Venonatus, etc. Because that's hella worth it. Also, either... After this five hours, or maybe even in the middle of it, I'll go ahead and get an Infernal Cape. <laughs> just to get that done. Would be nice to have the extra strength bonus. But for now, the backpack is doing the job, giving us more XP after all. First little drop is a Malediction Shard. Interesting, not too valuable. And another drops Ring of Wells as well, so that's cool. Just want to see what the loot tracker is looking like so far. Yeah, seems like it will track everything from all the NPCs we have killed. That's just uh, wonderful. There's a little cursed casket at 14 KC. Straight into a treasonous ring. Just showing it once because log slots, right? Into five bags of riches, literally back to back to back, which is also a log slot, so that's cool. Hey, let's go. Crest piece number two at 28 KC. First big drop of this five hour. Four more kills to go, and then I gotta go real quick. <laughs> All right, Fenonatus task completed. Didn't get too many keys from this, I did get a few. We're a little over half an hour in now. The all those first tasks took like 10 minutes and then this Fenonatus task took like 20. But uh, yeah, that, that's wilderness bosses for you, right? Larence keys so far. Probably put them in a place where we can easily spot them. Yeah, three Larence keys so far. We'll keep a little track of the quote unquote important items to look at later. Not bad, I guess, but Fenion definitely gave a lot more in one task the one time I did it. Could be coincidence, but Fedion does have more HP, so that would kind of add up. Alright, continuing the grind, got a Demonic Gorilla task just now after Ankus. I am gonna go ahead and not do that, because we don't have range. If I had the ability to use a crossbow on top of the Fagoras Chain Maze as a switch, I would kind of consider doing Demonic Gorillas in the wildy, because it has pretty good drop rate and shit, but yeah. Without range, I'm not gonna mage demonics. Not great at this stage, at least. I mean, when you're in max and stuff, it's a different story, but back to Ankus it is. Oh, yeah, and it's totally the next day already. Didn't get to play last night, sadly. Currently, uh, almost 45 minutes in. But uh, today, today will go hard, hopefully. <laughs> they only have 25 more HP than uh, Ankus do, yet I seem to be getting quite a few lair skis from this task. Like, I really wanted to give it another try, but look at this. Four keys so far. Little over halfway to the task. I am using the Expeditious Bracelet. I also forgot to switch out the self with the Torture. I should make some different setups or different mobs. Just for convenience sake, but, uh... Yeah, that is really nice, bro. Ooh, Cursed Casket. Yeah, of course, we'll take one of those. Why the fuck not? Extra profit. I'm so curious to see how many keys in particular we'll have after five hours. Because different tasks give so many different rates and different keys. 
like Ankus is really nice because it's super fast and you, you might be able to snag a key or two if you're lucky. And then you have Mammoths, which is a bit of a slower task, no doubt, but look at these keys pouring in. And then you have the boss tasks, which are significantly slower, but they have a super high Larence key drop rate. Plus, of course, the uh, like actual drop table is a little better. Uniques, etc. Crest pieces from some of them. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of on Runex is the boss timers, because they're 30 seconds. It's a long time, and I don't like the fact that while you're in the wildy, there's nothing really you can do, especially in like 30 plus. You're just stuck sitting there waiting for it to respawn, sitting there like a sitting duck. So any PKer that shows up can pick you off like it's nothing. Not a huge fan of that, like move the teleports a little. Maybe add one of those orbs that the spawn PK has where you can, if you're on task, on a wilderness layer task, you can spawn an additional one or something and it, it, it's a little quicker. But you have to be on task for it and stuff like that. So multiple people could kill it at the same time as well. I think that would be fucking wonderful, something like that. But, um, yeah, all with all, it is what it is. I am looking forward to a few more boss tasks, though, because I'm not getting too many. I think if I get Vedion, I'll end up favoring that one so we can get him a little bit more regularly. We do get a lot of Ankus because it's the only one I have favored it currently, but I'll make sure to add on to that list. Yeah, that's ironic. I just got a Lava Dragon task, but my daily resets in one minute. I'm just gonna wait for that to pass and then we'll do a Lava Dragon task, I do suppose. Very curious to see how the results from that will be, because I don't think I've done that before without doing it inside of a <coughs> VIP. It does have a few somewhat interesting drops. Uh, Curse Blessing is only 250 rune coins. It's not bad. I don't think it has any effect though. Does it? Well, it doesn't mention it on the item, but maybe it does have something. Because Gloves is 100, Dragon Crossbow 350, Lava Whip 250, King Lava Dragon Teleport is pretty good, and the Cursed Casket. Not the best rates for loot, but manageable, I guess. Goddamn, they do have a lot of HP. <clears throat> Not like we're using a Dragon Hunt Lens with Shay Z now, am I right? <laughs> yeah, this is probably gonna take a hot minute. Might have to use Diva Boots for this as well, holy fuck. Forgot about the lava fire, ugh, disgusting. Yeah, gang PK'd right now, there's honestly not much I can even do about this in the first place. TB'd inside the cavern, full TB, like, what are you gonna do, right? Absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna let myself die, I guess genuinely. Oh, one Laren's key, that's a bit of a shame, but... Full TB in the cave, you can't even exit them, even if I ran all the way! To the fucking safety zone, you know, where you would normally leave the cave. Doesn't fucking work. Uh, absolutely no point in even trying. Rip the gloves of silence as well, that's a bit of a shame, but... You know what? Man, I just ranted for like three minutes and figured, you know what, let's keep it a bit shorter. Definitely never doing this task again, fucking ass. Takes forever, isn't good, only saw one Larenski in this entire task, which is awful for how much HP they have. Plus the PKing. Motherfucker got scouted and shit, like, ugh, annoying. And I don't, I don't like the Ref Cave, honestly, I fucking hate this place, just because... And this has been requested a gazillion times by me and many, 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 many other players in the community. This fucking cave still doesn't have exits, like, mmm, at, at least allow us to leave. It's not fun to me that I just had to give up because there's no point in even trying. Oh, I'm full to beat? This cave has no fucking entrance. There's literally nowhere to go but waiting out the five minute TB. That's dumb. It's genuinely dumb. And I think anyone can agree on that. That's why it's been requested so much to begin with. <sighs> frustrating. Genuinely very frustrating. Hope that shit gets fixed someday. Maybe then I would actually like bring Dragon Hides and try to tank people. Because at this point there's, there's literally no point in trying. Gonna keep the risk low from here on out. Um, I'm definitely never coming back here, that's for fucking sure. I mean, I might do it for about, like my daily 25 dragons, but I don't have to be on task for that and stuff, so whatever.